We're using Flutter and Flame to experiment with horizontal scrolling backgrounds. Flame is a game engine for Flutter. This is currently a single image that we downloaded from itch.io and it's currently put together like this. There's also a folder called layers. So we're going to move the layers, individual components, like for example, the clouds here, we're going to put it into the images folder and move the individual components So we're not going to do the full background.png. We're going to go for it one by one. We're going to start off with the sky. Which will just be a single color. I'm going to run flutter pub get. I had to start, stop and then restart the server. So it's blue it's scrolling but we can't see it i'm going to cut this back down to 10 and then add in some additional components here so copy the sky.png and we're going to add the next layer which will be the clouds And let's see what it looks like. Okay, so the clouds are moving. We're going to just build it up layer by layer. Let's try add the mountains. Glacial mountains.png. And you notice that it's moving a slightly different speed than the clouds here. The clouds are supposed to be in the background, right? So then we'll build up the. This is a set of clouds. Which one do we want? Start off with cloud MG one. Okay, the clouds are moving at this rate here. And then we need to add a lonely cloud. This guy right here, he's at the top. So I'll have this guy go a little faster. Perspective being that he's gonna appear closer. Is cloud underscore lonely. Loud underscore lonely. Okay, there he goes. Let's add the bird in. I'm using this Crow 2D demo. It's name your price, so you could download it for free and try it out. It's from author SR Corella. So what you do is you click on no thanks to try it out, see whether you like it, and then right here you can download it. I have this open in GIMP. You can flip this within um, Flame, but I'm just gonna flip it right now. So I'm gonna go in GIMP to image, 
transform image. I'm gonna flip horizontally so it's facing this way. Then I'm gonna resize it. I'm gonna cut it down by 50%. So now this is a four by three grid of the sprites. Uh, this section is optional, but what I like to do is I like to set up these grid markers here just to make sure I have the right sizing. So I'm gonna go 350 and 400. I'm gonna click okay. Then I'm gonna go to view, show grid. So based on these lines here, I can tell that it is uh, 350 by 400 and that all like none of the wings, like, everything fits within the grid. So I'm going to use these 350 by 350 wide by 400 high uh, coordinates in the flame animation. So I'm going to export it. And I'll just drop it into the folder. So I'm actually going to save it with the dimensions in so it's easier for me to remember. So I'll go crow 350x400.png. Okay. right there. I'm going to stop it and restart it again. I'm just going to start off with a non-moving, non-animated sprite for the crow, just so we can get the base layout. So I'm going to add a sprite component. I'm in the main.dart and the onload section. And I'm using flame 1.6. So I'm going to load the sprite here. And the path is so it's assets images by default and it's just the name of the file 350x400.png but if I do this it's going to take the entire sprite sheet which is um, not what we want so we just want one of these guys source size source size and I'm going to take the first one so I won't need the source position vector 2 and it's the coordinates which is 350 by 4 400 hopefully we have a single bird Okay, now we have a single bird. It's not animated yet. And we'll put the position of the sprite component. So I'm going to set the, so the size here from the game system. So this size here is from flame game and it's the size of the entire game here. The anchor point of the bird is on the upper left hand corner. So this point here is centered, but not the full bird. So we want the full bird to be centered. So we have to adjust the anchor of the bird. Anchor. And we'll put the bird in this anchor of the bird in the center. 
which will result in the bird being in the center. So now we have a parallax background. It's an infinite scrolling. We have our character, the crow. It's in the center. The crow is not animated right now, but we are using a, a sprite sheet. So in the next video, we'll animate this crow here and add in some additional game features. The code for the completed tutorial, as well as the links to the assets, will be in the playlist description. So these are part of a playlist. So check that out and subscribe to the channel if you want the next video, which would be on animating the crow. Have a great day.